now demonstrate the normal operation process steps of the crusher. Now let's start with the material barrel. Push it up. Because there is a spring under the material barrel, press it down. After pressing it down, it matches the ceiling laser on the top cover. After the match is completed, now buckle up the hook. Now this is a bucket that has already been installed. After installation, we need to go to the electrical control section. The first step is to turn on the power first. After turning on the power, let's first check if his steering is accurate. We have a protection switch here. Let's hold it down first. After holding down the protection switch, let's turn on the start button of the shredder. After opening it, let's slowly adjust it a bit. Check if its steering matches the steering markings on the back. Now it has been detected that the steering is correct. Then we'll close the door of the machine chamber. Be sure to firmly lock the hand wheel after closing it. After locking, we can now proceed with further production operations. The first step is to turn on the pulverizer start button. After opening, adjust the corresponding speed by the frequency converter. Generally, the speed should be driven to the maximum speed for crushing purposes. The maximum speed set now is 75 Hz. Now the pulverizer can be fed in the corresponding working state. This is the feeding port inside. During the feeding process, the size of the feed volume is adjusted based on this. There is a plug board here that can be adjusted. Now the crushing is over. After the end, first adjust the frequency conversion speed of the shredder to the lowest level. Set to zero. Then press the stop button. Corresponding protection switch. Also turn it off. Then cut off all power sources again. Specifically, this is a simple operating program.